Hi, I'm Dave Koss, and welcome to another BroGraph tutorial. Today I'm going to be talking about Team Render uh, in R15 and um, how you can actually uh, interface PCs. Um, there's not really too much to it, but what's great is if you're a Mac guy and you want to buy some cheap PCs just for the CPUs, um, it it's it works and um, you can get a lot faster renders going and you don't have to move over to a PC completely you can stay on your Mac and just let the PCs run in the background um, I've been getting some 8 core i7's for about $399 and I've got one set up here you can see it's over here I've got this user registered um, as render one over there and um, I'm actually using a program on the Mac called Cord and it's a free program and it lets you log in uh, to Windows machines remotely and it's not screen sharing it's actually remote desktop so I have logged in on both of these as the same username and you can see I've got cinema up here uh, but cinema is not up on the screen over there it's because I'm registered as, as a separate user basically and it's it's running kind of in the background um, I've opened cinema I've also opened um, the resource monitor so I can check on my CPUs and see how everything's going. And that's pretty much all you have to do uh, for that. Now I'm going to move that over here and I'm going to show you uh, the preferences of Cinema. In the preferences under Render, in the drop down, you're going to see Team Render. And you're going to have a computer name, a security token, and a port number. Now you have to enable Team Render when you first install Cinema and uh, select a security token that's easy to remember and set up your port usually by default is 5300 um, sometimes 5301 if, if 5300 is being used by a different program uh, if you go to the render menu and you go to Team Render Machines you can see the machines that are available on the network now in this case I've already got my PC machine kind of set up and, and running uh, sometimes there's problems interfacing Macs and PCs so you have to actually type in the address and the port number manually the way you would do that is you would click on machine and click add machine you would type in the IP address of the PC that you have running uh, cinema and then colon and then the port number which in most cases is going to be 5300 so then now, now that I got this running, I'm going to do uh, just a render of this pumpkin on just this computer. And I'm going to do Shift-R, and we're going to watch this thing render. 26 seconds. Now, here's what's cool about this. If you are working on a project and it's getting fairly involved, and you got to tweak it a lot sometimes what's gonna happen is you make one little change and you've got to see if that made a difference in the render and you gotta sit there and render it out again to see how it came out luckily if you're using team render you can actually have all the computers collaboratively render to that one frame at one time and if you have everything turned on and instead of holding shift R for render you hold command shift R it's going to send uh, the info to the PCs that are working on the project and then it's going to sit there and render now you can see these are different buckets than what you saw before that's because it's turning each computer into its own bucket so it's like you have a bucket in a bucket yo dog I heard you like buckets so we put a bucket in your bucket so you can render while you render anyway 19 seconds which is pretty nice and I'm gonna go ahead and render this again but this time I'm gonna hop back over to cord and kinda of see what's going on while this is team rendering you can see I have my CPUs lined up right here and while this is rendering you can see them chugging away and that's a pretty quick render so it's already done um, but it's a considerable difference and um, what's great is the longer your render is the more time you're gonna save um, it's gonna calculate iridescence cache and stuff like that and um, 
you know, it, it all adds up. So if you add just a couple computers, um, you put them on team render, you're saving, you know, a few seconds here and there. It really does add up because when you get into a really complicated render, um, it'll, you know, if you're at a frame that on your computer takes maybe four or five minutes a frame, it'll go down to maybe two and a half, three minutes a frame, depending on how many computers you add to it. And um, when you compound that over a whole bunch of frames, you're actually going to get uh, quite an improvement in time. Uh, it's been a great time saver for me, and especially when I add computers. Uh, I think I've added up to 10 computers so far, and I've got 20 more that I'd like to add. And hopefully I can do that as a little experiment and show how it works and how fast it is when you have 30 computers running uh, on Team Render at the same time. But I've seen a difference in this. This is definitely better than what it was like before. Um, if you have questions, feel free to email me or get on our BroGraph Facebook page and ask me about Team Render. Um, there are a couple quirks and stuff that I've been noticing. Uh, nothing major, though. Everything seems to be working fairly well, and it has definitely uh, sped up some of um, our workflow. Um, if you don't mind, please subscribe to our YouTube channel. Uh, once we hit 100 uh, subscribers on there, we would like to do a, a few live things on YouTube. Uh, check out our Facebook, add us on Facebook, on Twitter, and of course go to BroGraph.com where you can get the latest tutorials and updates and subscribe to our newsletter on there as well, which comes out uh, about once a month. Well, it's been fun, guys, uh, but i got to get going. I got more Halloween stuff to do. There's going to be another one coming up soon next week. So until next time, have a good one. Later, bros. It's pretty good, I guess. <laughs>